Welcome to Behind the Ride with the Coal Collective. So here we are again outside the uh, front of the barn and uh, getting ready for the next trip. So I thought I'd give you a few hints and tips on how I get my bike from there into there as quickly as possible so we maximize the ride time. So um, the case itself, I'm using a, a Seacon Evolution X. Uh, it's the Aerotech Evolution X, it's the newest model. Um, I've had one of the older ones for a long, 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 long time. Um, it's taken a real battering and it's done oh, countless, countless trips now. So I've been really impressed with it. This is the newer one. There's actually some quite nice new features. The locks are uh, a little bit more refined and the wheels as well. So yeah, just over time, they've just evolved it, which has been really good to see. So. How I, I do it, it's quite a refined process now. And um, I'll show you how I sort of lay everything out as I go. And it takes me about sort of 10 or 15 minutes. I start by just taking the pedals off. And then these will eventually end up in a wheel bag. So I'll try not to forget those. It's quite important to have pedals when you ride a bike. So both pedals come off. And that's a, with a, an eight mil, which will go in my little toolkit as well. And then I'll slacken off the, the stem bolts, uh, slacken off the headset top cap. Actually, that can go in my pocket for now. And I'll also slacken off the seat binder and I can take the seat post out my watch my di2 cable so i can just take that one out Put my seat post there actually get rid of my computer for now get rid of my light again i'll stow those later but uh you know you don't want to get to the destination and find out you've forgotten your computer and that so they generally live on the bike until i sort of pack up and i know where they are or i'm charging them or downloading the data on there so from here i'll then take the wheels out as I've got a through axle at the front end, I'll use that, put that back in so I know where it is. And then I can actually uh, just about get it into the box. So I've got a little foam piece that goes on the chain set just to stop that damaging anything and then I can yeah just sort of pre-arrange it really I always put it in that way so the rear derailleur is on the right hand side we'll take that off in a minute and then I've actually got in my wheel bag a little bit of extra protection and back in the day I used to sort of label everything up, so I'd say top tube. I know this is top tube, it's blue, it's top tube. Um, but I, I just know which bit goes where now, so. I've just got a few bits which I can quickly give a little extra protection. Reality is you probably don't need this with a, a box like this, but I put it on just for my own uh, peace of mind. And they just snap into place real quick. And I can just, I always, uh, I've got one DI2 cable to disconnect before I take the, uh, the stem off, stem and handlebars then uh, slot in like that. A little bit of uh, one little tip that I've got now, if I find my tool again, is I'll just nip the stem bolts up, not overly tight, but just so the bolts aren't loose. And I'll do the same for the seat binder as well. And that's just for when it's in transit and it rattles around and vibrates in the uh, in the aeroplane. Sometimes uh, 
it's quite easy for those bolts to vibrate loose and <laughs> it's quite hard to find a four mil or a five mil bolt rattling around a bite box so and then what i'll also do is i've got my stem headset cap and i'll just put that back into the fork so i know uh, where it is and again just nip that so it doesn't rattle loose and we should be good when we get the other side so it's it's kind of in and then what i'll do is i've got uh, i'll take the rear trailer off um, just disconnect the di2 And I'll just wrap this in a t-shirt, which also doubles up as a cleaning rag for between shoots or between rides. And I'll tuck the uh, Dralia just between the chain stays. And on this side, I'll put a little uh, plastic uh, spacer just so that if any pressure is put on the uh, on the frame in transit, it's not gonna crush the back end. And I use the, it's a through axle on the front on this, on the, the, the Evo, so I can use that for the same uh, thing as I use the, the back for, just to give a little bit of extra strength in transit. And then what I'll do is I've got a few choice items that I throw in as well. And I put the helmet, that always has a, a nice little place here it goes in quite snugly and I'll put my put my shoes I normally put helmet shoes a little bit of extra kit shoes go in like this and I've got Put my seat post and saddle in. It tucks in quite nicely. So it's all coming together. And then in here I've got, actually I've got a little toolkit, which is getting pretty close so I can throw my Allen keys back in so when I get to the other side I'll uh, be able to reassemble the bike now these I always tuck down just where the rear trailer is there's a nice uh, space there and then I've got a, a nice little travel pump it's a Lazine um, mi micro floor pump and it's really handy because it's super lightweight um, and it's just a bit easier than using your hand pump or CO2 because yeah, CO2 should probably get them confiscated when you travel with them anyway. So a uh, little micro floor pump, which I've just found has been extremely useful just uh, for throwing in the bike boxes. Well, it actually lives in here. Uh, so I've always got a decent pump and I'll throw that in with my shoes as well. And then in here, I've got a little bit of food, which I've got in there, uh, some lube, any, uh, any accessories that I might need. I've always keep such as the age of disc brakes now, uh, spare pads in here, a little Swiss Army knife as well, so that stays in there. Make sure you don't put that in your hand luggage or it'll get confiscated. And then what I'll normally do is if it's, depending on where I'm going, if I'm gonna, uh, obviously the, the changing conditions in the mountains, I might put some extra winter kit in, there's a nice little space here, or just basically put a bit of extra, extra long sleeve jerseys or whatever I, I need to. Um, it's only where we're going this time, so I don't need that much. So I've got a little bit of food and bits and pieces in here, and then I'll use this just to go underneath the stem. And it just fits nicely keeps everything kind of tight and where it should be. Nothing really rattles around too much. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite tight and compact when it's in there. And then just let a little bit of air out. I don't let too much out, to be honest. Um, running tubeless and that still, so I can, I just let a few PSI out basically so I can get them in the wheel bags easier. 
I'll just take my rear quick release out. And I've got uh, two wheel bags. I've just marked them up front and rear. So I'll put the, uh, the quick release in. And this is the rear one, so I can put that in there. And then the front one, I've got a couple of these uh, plastic pieces that can be used. They are quite handy um, just to stop the sharp edges uh, from the hub. But there's, as I say, the box is, offers so much protection with the wheel bags as well. It's probably not that necessary, but I've just got them, so that's okay. And then put this little piece of padding over. Again, just keep everything where it should be. Rear wheel, front wheel, pedals, which I said I wasn't going to forget. They go just into the wheel bag. It's a nice little, uh, nice little zip compartment and I'll, I'll normally put a couple of um, extra tubes in here just in case I mean as I say I've, I've run in tubeless and I've had good success with that but if you're on location and you do do a, a nasty on a, a tire then you need your spares so I'll still take some spares and then you'll actually notice that um, with the with the Seacon box you've got these holes here and when you buy the box they'll provide you with uh, some quick releases where you can put your wheels through and everything um, i've got a through axle on the front to, i'll be honest with you i've never i've never really used that because the wheels normally go in here and it actually holds it really snug but i've just found that with the wheel bags um, it's a bit quicker i've just found i just throw them in there when i put my tubes in my uh, my pedals wheels go in there bags the extra protection that you've got plus the wheel bags and when you put it down and joggle it into position. I've always found that nothing moves around in there. So you've got these actual red straps as well. So you can, you can tie the frame down and you can secure it if you want to. Again, I've never actually used them because everything in the box just sort of fits into position and then makes its, its natural sort of good fitting uh, position in there so I've never really needed that and then when it's all in position should be able to cinch these locks down and then these two on the side have actually they're they're a new design they're like a little butterfly lock I actually really like them. They're a lot neater than the, uh, the predecessors. So it makes life a lot easier. And also the wheels, 360 uh, degree rotating wheels. So when you're in the airport trying to joggle it around people and you know, uh, yeah, yeah, get it past prams and trolleys and other baggage and people, it's, it's quite handy. So some nice little refinements as well. This is the box of choice and if you do like something a little bit custom, as we do, we've got a little uh, special print on there as well. So, Cole Collective Special from the Stelvio, which yeah, looks pretty sweet. Reminds us that we're all bike riders dreaming of uh, sunny days in the mountains. So, if you fancy some of that, then uh, I'll put a discount code uh, in the description below. Uh, friends of TCC minus 30, so you can get 30% off. Oh, maybe it helps you. And um, hopefully, uh, yeah, you can travel safe travel light as I say I use the the hard shell um, they have got the uh, the aero comfort as well uh, it's a little bit lighter weight a little bit easier to stow in the apartment but uh, you know I've always found that the uh, the evolution X is is the box for me so um, hope that helps and um, travel safe everyone enjoy mm -hmm.